This video attempts to explain in simple terms how genetics will influence the colors and patterns found on chicken feathers. The chicken's entire genome was sequenced in 2004. This is when it was discovered that they have between 20,000 and 23,000 genes and 1 billion DNA base pairs. The color of plumage in birds is an important feature often determining descent to a particular species or breed. It serves as a key factor in the interaction of birds with each other due to their well-developed visual perception of the surrounding world. Chickens have 39 pairs of chromosomes, or 78 chromosomes in total. These chromosomes house the genetic makeup of a chicken and the composition of genes on these chromosomes determines everything from the chicken's sex, size, coloration and more. A gene is a section on a rod-like chromosome that codes for a specific characteristic through the production of a specific protein. There can be variations in these genes and these variations are known as alleles. An organism will always have two alleles, one from the father and one from the mother. If the genes are identical, they are homozygous. If they are different to one another, they are heterozygous. And if there is only one copy of the gene, it is hemizygous. In humans, the X and Y chromosomes determine biological sex, but in birds, including chickens, it's the Z and W chromosomes that determines the sex. A chick born with ZZ chromosomes will be male. ZW chromosomes will be female. All chickens will have Z chromosomes, but only female chickens will have W chromosomes. Dominant genes will always be visible in the organism while recessive genes can sometimes be hidden and becomes visible only when there is two copies of the recessive gene. Genetics is the study of the characteristics of organisms and how they are inherited from one generation to the next. We study these genes and how they interact to determine the possible combinations of the variations for the next generation. We use pedigree diagrams to predict the characteristics of the offspring through statistical crossings and selective breeding takes place if the statistical crossing is favorable. The coloring of poultry breeds comes from the original jungle fowl. It's a type of coloring that is known as the wild type coloring. This is nature's way of distributing pigment to make the males more attractive to females and then to camouflage the females while they are incubating their eggs. The colorization is based on two forms of pigmentation, black and red. The pigment responsible for black base colors is eumelanins. When eumelanins get diluted, they can produce grays or they can even be a brownish to blackish color. The dominant white color, written as a capital I, it is a incomplete dominant allele which reduces the eumelanin pigment. Along with it, there are two other alleles. The one is dun-colored, written as capital I with a capital D in superscript. And the second is smoky, written as capital I with a capital S as superscript. So a black bird will have the genes for black from eumelanin. Ground color is the main color of the body plumage and it is the base color. The pigments responsible for the red base color is pheomelanins and when they get diluted they appear as reds, oranges and yellows. Silver, wild type gold 
and sex-linked imperfect albinism forms a series of alleles at the S locus on the chicken chromosome Z. The sex-linked silver factor inhibits red color pigmentation. It is incompletely dominant to wild type and its phenotypic expression is highly influenced by modifying genes. In order to obtain a buff color, a chicken must have number one, genes that add a red pigment to the chicken plumage. Number two, it must carry a gene for diluting the red pigment to a buff color. And lastly, the chicken must have a restricted gene that removes the black pigment from the body of the bird. One example of getting buff color is when there is a recessive wheaten gene, sex-linked gold, which adds red, champagne blonde genes, which dilutes the red, mahogany genes that darkens the red and removes the black, it's a restrictor, a Colombian gene pair that removes the black, it's also a restrictor, and then a dilute gene that dilutes the red to the buff color. Primary patterns are color patterns that involve the entire body of the chicken. An example is the silver Colombian pattern. The silver Colombian is a white chicken with some black in the neck, wing and tail areas. Because the pattern does not manifest on individual feathers, it is referred to as a primary pattern. The E locus is important to learn with poultry genetics. The common E locus alleles are extended black, birchen, Dominant Wheaton, the wild type, partridge, speckled, buttercup, recessive Wheaton, and Queen Sylvia. They are able to increase the amount of melanin and claim a piece of the ground area color. Solid black is extended black written as two capital E's. These genes control how much black patterning a bird has and the areas that patterning can express. Double capital E produces the most black, whereas Wheaton produces the least amount. In Birchen chickens, the main body and tail of the bird are solid black. The head hackles on males and females, and the saddle on males have silvery white feathers with a narrow black stripe through the middle of each feather. The breast feathers are black with a narrow trim of silver. In partridge hens, the hackle feathers are black in the center with a thin border of reddish bay. The overall body color is the same reddish bay with beautiful black pencilings. Each feather will have at least three black pencilings. The main tail is black except for the top two feathers which follow the same pattern as the body. Roosters have black body feathers and a black tail with red hackles, back, shoulders and parts of the wings. The wild type produces a typical black breasted red male with a salmon breasted female. Wheat in color is the color of yellow wheat. Hence are majority um, wheat colored with dark necks and tails, while roosters have more variety in their coloring, but are typically more orange than the black breasted red. While the primary pattern refers to the distribution of colored feathers in different parts of a bird's body, the secondary pattern refers to the distribution of color on individual feathers. The pattern gene is a restricted gene and it restricts the expression of the aomelanin into concentric penciled lines. It is a dominant gene. There are many different chicken feather patterns that show up when birds have been mixed, but there are a few that is deemed the standard. Feather patterns can not only indicate the breed of a bird, but it is sometimes used to tell you the bird's gender. Melanotic genes provides an all-black chicken. The Colombian pattern is a white with black pattern. 
Roosters have a white head, back and thighs. The hackles are green, black laced with white lacing. The main tail and the sickles are solid black. Hens have white bodies with black necks laced in white and some black tail feathers. Solid colored feathers are most common in backyard chickens. Birds with solid feathers can be a variety of colors, but each feather is one solid color. With penciling, there is distinct thin lines that follow the contour of the feather. Each feather usually has multiple pencilings. They are especially beautiful and intricate in design. Double laced has two lacings of black. First, there is the outer black lacing around the edge of the feather, plus there is an inner or second lacing pattern. In double lacing, we start with a basic pattern gene and add a melanotic component to it. The melanotic gene is an intensifier gene. It intensifies the expression of aomelanin and it moves it to the edges and wider areas in the central part of the feather. It is a dominant gene and causes the double lacing pattern in feathers. For single lacing, start with a pattern gene, add the melanotic and then a Colombian gene. The Colombian gene acts as a restrictor gene. In combination with the pattern gene and the melanotic gene, it leads to a single laced pattern, pushing the black coloring to the edges and expanding the ground color on the center of the feather. For color inhibition, we find barring feathers and mottled feathers. The barring gene is dominant, while the lack of barring gene is recessive, and the lack of mottled gene is dominant, while the mottling gene is recessive. In sex-linked dilution, homozygotes are white, and heterozygote males and hemizygote females have a light blue barred plumage. The barring dilution gene is dominant, the barring gene is also dominant, and the lack of barring gene is a recessive gene. Barring is feathers with horizontal stripes or bars of two colors. Bars can be of equal thickness or one color may be thicker than the other. Barred breeds are usually sex linked, meaning male chicks and female chicks look distinctly different at hatching. For a spangling, start with a pattern gene, add the melanotic, and then add a dark brown gene. With mottled feathers, some feathers, but not all, have white tips on the ends. The white is actually a loss of pigment and gives the bird a distinct spotted look. The FOSS Education videos aims to make content colourful and clear to understand. The videos are based on the CAPS syllabus in South Africa with some extensions and expansions to other syllabi around the world. Connect with us at teachersbyteachers.com forward slash store forward slash the FOSS Education. Also visit our Facebook site, join our link at the FOSS Education and we also have a website that offers programs to run through as a homeschooling syllabus. In this series on chicken genetics and inheritance, you can also look at the introduction to chicken domestication, chicken plumage, the primary and secondary patterns and colors, aomelanin enhancers, restrictors and diluters, and pheomelanin intensifiers and diluters.